Well, welcome to this uh, little demonstration of Interact's uh, product samples given uh, software module. It's an optional module and I've placed it onto the main menu here for us to have a look, look at. So I'll select menu number three, samples given. It covers that situation where uh, you are giving out uh, product samples free of charge to customers or prospects and you're wanting to follow those up, up, up obviously afterwards. Okay, so this is a search screen on the samples given database. You can search on any combination of these fields, of course. So, for instance, you've got the status field you can search on uh, by client, by a follow-up date, whatever. So let's just press the start search button. We're not going to bother uh, searching. And we're now going to add a new record here. So I'll just click on the green uh, plus button. And the first question it asks us is, what's the current status of this uh, of this request? And uh, let's just say it's, a, it's been requested but not yet approved. Um, now it's asking us to search and locate the customer we want to send uh, the, the goods to and you just type in the first few characters of the customer's name and then you just press enter. In this case I'm going to select business resources as an example. It's suggesting the uh, delivery date here is 31st of October but you can override that. We can just say no, it's the 1st of the 11th. And when do we want to actually follow it up? Let's just say we want to follow up in a couple of weeks time. So let's just say the uh, the 14th or the 11th will follow up and that'll put an entry in the follow-up diary. The expected delivery date will go into the uh, delivery schedule with, along with the normal uh, sales orders. Uh, it's asking us what's the uh, delivery address we want to send it to for this customer because one customer can have multiple delivery address. You can actually add a new address on the fly here just by clicking on this address button over here. Let's just say we'll select that one. You can have some uh, special instructions uh, deliver to warehouse at the rear and that's completed the um, what we call the samples header file which heads up the overall record and the next uh, menu it shows you the products in enter in the products to be sampled I'll just bring it over here so we can get a, a better view of it so let's now add some products that uh, uh, we're going to give the, these people as a sample so I'll just press enter to start the process it's allowing us again to search on the product item. We can put in here um, either one of the uh, product codes, your own product code, a supplier's code, or even the product description to do a quick search. I'm just going to start on a product that starts with a, with a product code of 22. It's brought up a list of products, and you can one I want is the first one on the list, so I'll select that. It's broken all the details regarding that product. Now we're going to ask for uh, what sort of sample quantity we're going to give them. Let's just say we're going to give them uh, 150. Uh, you can see what's available, by the way, in stock at the present time. This is going to show you what the normal selling price, you can offer discounts on the normal selling price, that if they were to purchase it, it will compute the, um, the sales value of what we're actually giving away. This is the cost of what we've given away here, $11.78. Okay, I'll just move that out of the way for the moment. Um, the next thing we can do is actually to print an authority form and that might be to get management to approve the giving away of these samples to a customer and this is uh, an example of a request authority form. It's got a column here for a batch number so it does allow for batch or serial numbers if you've got that. If not of course we can remove that uh, column and have obviously a provision down the bottom here to uh, put the person's signature that's going to approve it. And that can be emailed or printed or whatever. Uh, when you're ready to dispatch the goods, you go into menu number three, and it comes up and allows you to change the status. And it defaults to the fact that they've been dispatched as opposed to just being picked. Uh, it's saying what's the pick date? Let's just say it was the first of the eleventh, and it's saying yes, we dispatch them on the same day. Uh, any any other directions like Corner Street, something of that nature, and uh, then we can print out the um, picking slip or dispatch lock or both if you prefer. Much the same layout as uh, we saw in the previous report for a uh, authority form, um, except it's just got a, a, again an area here for um, who actually received the goods by the client. You can change those uh, report designs to suit yourself. Now at this point, um, the goods have been sent. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show you is that we can call back that uh, product that we gave away and link into the, here's a little photo image of the uh, product, we can link into the stock item itself and it, what happens is that, that a down here menu number 18, it keeps the samples history of what products have been sent to that particular customer or on this product. So what customers, I should say, of this product. So this is product by customer. The same sort of thing is available if I call up one of these, such as corporate enterprises, 
link into the customer file, and I'll just go to the debtors' totals here, and here you see menu number 23, samples history. So that's the sample history of wh what this customer has received by way of samples. Okay, so there's two inquiry files, samples by product and samples by customer. I'm just using the escape button to move back uh, from where we went to. Uh, with the last step that we can do with this particular entry is to put in what res the re were the response details. And the response details, menu number three here, allows you to uh, record when you did follow them up, the, cu the customer to see if they're ready to uh, order from you, uh, what was their response. So what, what resulted out of giving away these samples. So it allows us to do it product by product because you could give away more than one product at the same time, of course. It's asking us who's the person that uh, did the follow-up. Who did we speak to within the client file? And what actually was that, what happened? So this is a standard list of um, actions that, in terms of what did we actually do. Um, we got, like, and you can add to this, of course, this list will automatically add through it. When do we want to follow up? Uh, again, let's just say the 11th of the 11th. Uh, and what are we going to do on that particular stage? And when we follow up, and this is again a standard set of responses. Uh, you can add to these on the fly. And we might just say prepare quotation. Um, and we might here just change the status to saying, okay, that just on hold at the moment, the decision to, to order. And what revenue we do we expect per annum, as the help text down here says, from the sale of these goods over the first year. I'll just say 2500 So what happens there is that the once we put in that response, it's updated the header file again. It's summarizing this overall uh, sample is entry. The stock has been adjusted, it's been taken out of stock, and at the same time we've posted to the general ledger, uh, the, um, you can see the general ledger posting, we've posted to the general ledger the expense account entry of the sample's expense for the cost, and we've reduced stock by the same amount. So all that general ledger accounting has been taken care of. If we go back to the main menu, and let's say select the products materials uh, area, you can see a summary of, of samples given. You can search again by date, cent, range, or by product group, or search all by salesperson. So here you can see a summary of uh, what samples had been sent and what was actually resulted out of it. All right, so that really completes the, uh, the sample system. It's a very tidy little system, very easy to use. 